Central Command lies ahead, and the Chamber of the Council of Six is housed at its summit. So that's where we'll find your father, Adia? Yes. Along with the Dark Knight Alternus Dim and that strange man who put us to sleep. Well, we need the key Adia's father has. That's the only way we'll make it to the Earth Crystal. If we can just get the key, maybe we can avoid fighting a lot of people. I'm afraid that is one big if. Lord Marshal, the gate to the dungeon was utterly destroyed. But why would Juliana assist in the Wind Vestal's escape? The capricious old fool. I cannot fathom his thoughts. But that the two appear now after 15 years. It's as if they have come to gloat over my demise. Lord Marshal, I'm afraid I don't understand. It is unlike you to utter such bleak words. Victor and Victoria are defeated, and we no longer receive word from our squads deployed abroad. <laughs> Those two grandsires said their peace, they're going into hiding again. All that remains now of the Council of Six are you and I, Alternus. I shall not concede defeat, were we but to slay the Wind Vestal. And what of my daughter? Could you slay her too? I... I... Hear me, Dark Knight, Alternus Dim. I would have you escape while you still may. <laughs> Your Lordship, I must protest. Am I such a burden to be sent away so? It is my faith in you that makes me bid you leave. For I have a task I would entrust to no one else. Speak the word. The time has come for me to share my true aim in restoring the Duchy of Eternia and reveal the secret borne by its predecessor. Until now, only I and those two grandsires were privy to such knowledge.
I grew up. So this was your room. Hey, ring a bell. Let a girl keep some privacy. Where's the fun in that? This place must be full of memories. I can almost taste them. I don't have any memories, at least any I can recall. So forgive me if I wax a little sentimental here. They say you can tell a person by their room. And all I can say is... What a fine room you have here. 
thank you. Hey, isn't that a picture of you, Adia? You look so young. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. Let's pretend you didn't see that. Here's one with your entire family. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Seeing this picture leaves no doubt of the depth of your father's love for his daughter. If by love you mean exasperation, you may be right. <laughs> Are you truly prepared to battle your own father? <sighs> that would seem to be my destiny. You could say I truly am my father's daughter. We are both of a mind that shan't ever waver once we decide upon something. To go against one willing to die for his beliefs calls for steely resolve. That is why I... I... It doesn't have to be this way. How so? It serves no purpose to abandon dialogue from the start. Not while you are both here to talk. I will consider it.
The Vestal and her followers are stopped here. And you, I would have you prepare for the worst. The Pillar of Light will appear somewhere in this world. You must find it, Alternus. And you must be victorious.
passage to your room. What am I to do with you now, Adia? Well, I've been using it almost as long as I could walk. It's come in handy more than once. I see. Listen, Father. The truth is... Well... I wanted to help you fulfill your ideals. I truly did. I think I was lonely. I mean, no matter how I tried to get through to you, you never paid me any mind. It was as if you always had your back turned towards me until I left Eternia. It was not that I never accepted you. Rather, you were ever my pride and joy. My assigning you to the Sky Knights was an acknowledgement that you had become the woman I knew you could be. I had thought you might tame that band of ruffians to bring them to order and lead them. Alas. Thank you, Father. I never knew you felt that way. Do not thank me, for I too shall do whatever it takes. I cannot allow you to lay hands upon the crystal. Mine is a cause that I shall not willingly abandon. Yes, Mother told me. It was when she first fell ill that you began to rush the pursuit of your ideals. Was it not? I will not stand by and watch you ruin all I've made. You and your band shall not pass. Why, Father? Why must you always refuse to listen to me? Are we really that different? My ideals are no longer my own. It is my calling, nay, my duty, to protect this world. Protect the world? But it's you, Father, who endangers it! Is this battle between us all but inevitable? I came here knowing that mere words could never bend your will, and yet... You've come this far, only to spout such sickly sweet sentiments. You disappoint me. Blood and steel are the final resort between those unwilling to concede their beliefs. I am Brave Lee, the Templar, Grand Marshal of Eternia. Prepare for battle!
brave. Forgive me, Adia. This is all my fault. What is this foolishness you speak? You are ever the strength that keeps me alive. And I love you and Adia dearly. Father? Do not fear. He is merely unconscious. His wounds, they will heal. Though it will take some time. And he may never wield his sword again. Mother, I... I took up arms against Father. I told myself I was ready to fight him even if it meant shortening his years. Then surely you will not stray from your path, so long as you hold that feeling near and dear. By your actions, you have finally granted your father a reprieve from his anguished struggle. It was for the best. Mother, we now go to awaken the Earth Crystal. I see. Forgive me. There is no need to ask my forgiveness. Oh, but there is, Mother. For if we awaken the crystal, your treatments will no longer be possible. We will no longer be able to keep what ails you at bay. What sort of daughter does that to her mother? Oh, Adia, you truly are your father's daughter. And that is what makes you even more dear to me. Mother! How very touching. I beg pardon for my interruption, but your fear is misplaced. And you are? Of course, you had yet to see me in this form. I am Lester de Rosso. But you may address me as Lord de Rosso. Our fear is misplaced. It appears you have underestimated the Templar's great deeds. Deeds for which he risked life and limb. For he has advanced science and medicine in this land by a hundred years. While complete cures may not yet be possible, sickness and disease can be prevented from further progression. Awakening the crystal shall not rob your mother of such mortal life as she has left, Idea. So then... We're free to awaken the crystal! <sighs> Dear... Ironic, is it not? To think I would be the one to urge the Wind Vestal and her companions to awaken the crystal. I can see purpose unwavering in your eyes. Tis as if I gaze upon Brave the Templar in his youth. And yet, there is still much that you cannot fathom. I have seen years measuring in thousands. Hope and sentiment intertwined with right and wrong, good and evil. The rise and fall of the orthodoxy the restoration of Eternia, the two conflicting beliefs concerning the crystals. So much may happen in a life immortal. <laughs> the way to Everlast Tower is beyond this door. Let's go!
The lock won't open. If you wish to pass this gate, seek you the six keystones throughout the lands. Keystones? Keys of stone? Stones that are keys? Though the way is barred, six number the holes to be filled. I trust you can figure out the rest. The time is ripe to prove yourselves worthy. I shall say no more. No fair! Couldn't you offer a small hint? Perhaps a name, a color, a shape? I said I shall say no more. Now off with you. I shall await your return.